What's going on guys, Bacon here, and today we're gonna try to break down the skill zone defense. How to beat the skill zone defense. And the reason I'm making this video is because I've actually had multiple messages because it's, it's no secret that I don't like the skill zone defense. But I've had multiple messages being like, uh, Bacon, you're actually the reason why people do the skill zone defense. <laughs> I made that first video and if I am, I mean shit because it's the worst part of this game. It's the worst, it's the worst gameplay part of this game right now. So anyway, we're gonna try to break it down and I fully admit that this guy wasn't playing it at the start because I don't think I touched the puck for 12 minutes. I really don't think I died. I barely ever had the puck for the first 12 minutes. So I thought this guy, you know what, he's just up one. He kind of got a weak game pricey. I don't know what you're doing. Did that Was that deflected? Tough one, tough one. Anyways, First time I get the puck, he's skating right back. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Very defensive. So we know what kind of game we're in, but we're, we'll break into the end. And what we're going to do here, and since maybe I was the reason why it broke down, but the reason I first showed the skill zone defense, a well-trained monkey can do the skill zone defense. He keeps cutting back into the middle. He keeps taking the middle, guys. So you know it's coming. We draw a penalty, away we go. But the reason I showed it was because people were saying that the, the AI was bad in this game. I'm like, the AI is not bad. You cannot increase the AI because watch. People were already doing the skill zone against me, just standing in the middle. And I don't blame them on this one. If you're shorthanded, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you only got four guys. You do have, kind of have to hold a position. You do have to do that, right? So I don't blame them when you're shorthanded. I really don't. You can. It's a free game when you're shorthanded. But when it's five on five and all you're doing is standing in the middle, letting your computers do all the work, and then uh, just spamming that poke check, just spamming that poke check as soon as the guy gets around your computer. And whenever I bring up the skill zone, here's another thing. Whenever I bring up the skill zone, somebody would be like, yeah, but if you can't beat the computers, then you suck anyway. Every single time, every time, okay? It's not just getting around the computer. Look how easy it is to get around the computer. You just hold the puck out like this, and I'm trying to draw a penalty. Finally, I get the computer to bait. Not very often. If I could figure out how to get them to do that a lot, this guy would be sitting in the box all day long. And I don't necessarily just blame this guy. But look, look, he never wants to take control of the closest guy. I don't blame this guy, but I played four games, and every game I was playing against the skill zone. So I'm like, all right, I'm recording this one. And it just happened to be this guy. And then this guy also posted on Reddit and said it was a puck ragger. So you'll get to my other points. So <laughs> anyway, the point is, Goal number one, you've seen goal number one. I'm trying to draw a penalty, right? Look at this guy, he just does not want a four check. He'd rather sit on his own blue line and we'll eventually just squeak our way in here. And he says he wasn't playing the trap because uh, he doesn't have the one four setup, okay? You're still trapping it. <laughs> like, you're the human on the blue line and you're letting the computer skater. I could, I could easily just go in circles with the protect the puck button and he, the computer would probably never get it, ever. I don't want to puck rag it, and this guy calls me a puck ragger anyway because of my last tip. So goal number two there, off the face off again. So the first time was a power play, that one was even strength. So neither time have I scored against the skill zone, but I've just capitalized on chances that, I mean, they're just always there, right? So he does it again, like he, he doesn't want to take that closest guy, right? He just won't. So I could literally, see what I'm doing here? That's the computer. I'm baiting him to actually come out there and we're going to skate in. I'm not puck ragging yet. I'm just trying to get into the zone. And the goal is to play against the skill zone. You want to score off the rush or in instances that he's not set up in the skill zone. I'm trying to bait another penalty here. Look it. I'm trying to get him to lift his stick. If I could, if I could trigger the computer to use the stick lift, I would have him in the box all game. But I actually get him to trip me there. So I just keep circling around that middle. You use that protect the puck button, circle around that, circle around the computers, and you'll get around them. You'll get around them. It's stupid. I agree. You will get around them. That's the only way they don't pin you against the boards. If you're not using that, they'll just pin you against the boards. You gotta keep moving too. You gotta keep moving too, otherwise they will. See, he's just standing here all game. And he he started criticizing my game. <laughs> Whatever. I can't tell you how to play the game. I would much rather it look like the last game I just posted, the one where we had way more shots. Uh, it was a good game. The guy was ranked way better. Like, he was in top two or 300 anyway. It was a fast game, back and forth chances. Still good defense. It was still good defense, but it was nonstop action, and it was fun, and it was a 2-1 game. Like, it was close, right? 
and this one not as much fun very few shots it just ruins the game like he has the closest guy right there and he switches off of it he switches off of it like I don't get this place I really don't so but ultimately if my outlet pass is there I'm just gonna fire it up the ice outlet pass you guys remember if it's there I'll fire it up but here's my other strategy if he sets up in the skill zone I just skate out and bait him out he finally starts chasing me I wanted to pass it up there but the computer is all over me so I get forced to circle around the net and then I have an open pass and I fire it up in no way am I looking to kill the clock I'm looking to score off the rush he can't set up in the skill zone if I score off the rush so I scored two goals off the face off and one off the rush that's how you beat the skill zone defense you essentially don't play against it. If you get a guy really good at the skill zone, I mean, I have tried all game long. I tried all game long here to work my way in, find an open shot, whatever, right? Get a rebound, whatever it was. I had some chances, one-timers off of, uh, I think it was Hiller there, but I couldn't score on him the other way. So you just have to find ways to beat it, right? And that's what we're trying to do here. If I can't tell you how to play once again. I, if you want to play this style, you can do it. But if you're going to throw out your strategy like that and make it so obvious, a guy on Reddit had a good post. He's like, every strategy has a counter. And half the game's beating your opponent with skill, half the game's outsmarting your opponent with uh, just using your head, right? So that's what we're doing here. I skate into the zone. If he sets up in the skill zone, I skate back out. Then we just break in again. Now, you do take a risk. I mean, if he poke checks you while you're exiting the zone, he's probably got a breakaway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you got to be careful, obviously. It's not the best strategy. Ultimately, in hockey, you want to play on the other end. But if he's always going skill zone, your best bet is to honestly exit the zone, re-enter. That's the way I've had a lot of luck doing it. These guys get pissed. They'll call you a puck ragger. I mean, they basically set down the controller. Shots were 14-11. 14 generally I have at least 25 to 35 shots that's usually how it goes um, once again I don't really I well I kind of blame this guy for trying to call me a puck ragger but anyway I don't really blame this guy I play a lot of games a lot of people use this style we're here to try to break it anyway I'm all for a faster game hopefully you guys like this video if you have any other methods to beat the skills on defense leave it in the comment section below we'll see you guys soon